Cadence of Conflict, Asia, January 13, 2020. The overwhelming, earth-shattering, landslide re-election victory of Taiwan's President Tsai Ing-wen sends a shocking message to Beijing. If you plan to take Taiwan, prepare for greater opposition than you got from Hong Kong. But like the house cat who doesn't know it's not God, let alone that it's not any tiger, they won't ever decrypt the message. Beijing will be emotionally hurt, insulted, and will thus froth with rage. Choosing former Premier William Lai as her vice running mate was wise. Not only is he loved for, perhaps only for, his intractable stance against corruption, he also views Taiwan as having an already de facto independent status. While President Tsai prefers status quo, a peacefully unresolved dispute with China, Vice President-elect Lai views any Taiwanese declaration of independence from China as no more than a formality for how things already are anyway. This choice of William Lai strengthens her position. If she were to step down, a president would take her place with an even stronger stance against Chinese expansionism. So, even her political opponents would want her to remain in office. Taiwan's position is stronger, not only in U.S. relations, but also within Taiwan. Expect actions from China that result in Taiwan responding with moves toward greater independence than status quo already boasts. And that is the cadence of the conflict already seen in the Pacific.